Hello class. Today's lesson is going to be your first custom project for use with our plasma cam machine. And you might start to get some ideas by going to plasmacam.com, clicking on uses, and maybe click on the signs and lettering link. Here's some uh, links there. You could also check out the ornamental iron. There's some more project ideas here. And so a good place to check out some images would be to start here, plasmacam.com. So one thing you have to just keep in mind when you design your project is that parts of your art project are going to fall away to the ground and then obviously the part you're holding will be the one that's um, left. And so sometimes students have trouble when a part falls away they didn't want to have fall away. So it's just something to keep in mind and I'll, I'll remind you about that again. But um, it's kind of a cool dog hook. So you want to be thinking about an image that's 12 inches by 12 inches or or bigger. I can give you for free a piece of metal that's that's 12 by 24 inches. And of course you can even go bigger than that if you want to pitch in some money. But unlike the laser machine, this machine does not do small stuff very well. Mainly because the width, the width of the plasma cutting flame is an eighth of an inch. So it can't do a little two inch uh, piece of art like the laser machine cam. So think a little bit bigger um, and we'll go from there. So um, here I am in Onshape. I got a new document open, uh, but first we have to find, find your artwork. Okay, so you know just keep it, keep it clean so to speak. But let's just say that I wanted to um, make a dolphin. My friend uh, loves dolphin. I'm going to make them an epic present. So think of this project as could be a really great present for someone. Um, all right, so once you search, I would recommend going to images um, and not picking any of these images here. It'd be better for you to go to tools and then filter out the results by a certain type. And the type is line drawing. And line drawings are really good for our, our laser cutter and plasma cutting, plasma cutting device. So, um, you know, again, you guys can do anything you want. Um, so once, once you find your image, you're going to go ahead and save it. And so that's, that's really the first thing is to find your artwork. And we can always add text to it as well. So in Onshape, we're going to do um, a, a new file. Um, click Sketch. I definitely will click Top View since we're going to be cutting the top. And I'll zoom into that so I can see it straight on. And I know we, we went over using the Linear Pattern Tool. Just to the right of that, it says Insert DXF or DWG. So I click this. and I want to go to the second choice here, insert image. Once you click that, there's nothing here. So I want to click the import button down here in the lower left corner. So now I would just go to wherever my, my file is, my image, and it downloads it right here kind of gives me an update. And then here it says, and this is kind of where Onshape gives you information, select an imported image. Okay, well I see it right there. And then now it says draw image rectangle. So I'll go left click, left click. Right after you do that, I would definitely put down a dimension. So it's got to be 12 inches or bigger. So I'll do 12 inches or maybe I'll do 15 inches. All right, so there's my, there's my image. Now the PlasmaCam software does have a feature 
to kind of convert this image into a cuttable, cuttable lines. But it doesn't always give you the most control. Um, in today's lesson, I want you to build on your Onshape skills. So we're going to go over one new tool called Spline. You guys know about the line tool, rectangle, circle. Spline is a, a great tool to do curves. So for example here, I'm going to go left click. And when as I click, I can bend it. So I'm just going to go pretty fast here. And I'm not going to do the, oh yeah, I'm going to touch that line there so you can see. So the more you click, the more, the more you can do curves. Now, when you're done, just press the ESC key on your keyboard, the escape key, and I got it. So about splines here, every mouse click, there's a circle, a little node, and you can, sorry, like first click your line, so click the line first, and then these circles light up where I mouse did my mouse click, and I can move them up or down. So if you want, you can um, you know find these things and and move them as you want. All right. For example, here I'm not going to want this line to be all the way down here. I want a little bit of a gap so that it doesn't fall through, and then. This, um, okay, the next thing I want to tell you is that sometimes, depending on the line, notice how when I click this, it has this thing show up. It's basically showing that these two lines are connected. And so when I try and move it, it doesn't want to move off that line. So sometimes you might have to click this and hit delete. It's like an association and then it'll let me move it. So now for example here, let's pretend that I want this line to show up. Well, if I go left click, left click, left click. So now this fin's going to fall through and I don't, I don't want to do that. So instead what I could do is have a little bit of a gap, like about 3 16 or so, a little bit of a gap so that I can see that line, but that fin's not going to fall through. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> if I want the eye to fall through, then, then by all means. Um, and that would probably look really good on this. So I could use the spline tool, elliptical tool. Okay, so that's going to fall through when it's done cutting. So that's basically um, how you trace an image. You might you know, switch between the line tool, but I, I imagine, I suspect that you'll be using the spline tool. So today we went over two new things. We first went to insert image, not the XF, but we did insert image. And then we click the import tool here, told it, where my image is at. It seems like JPEG, PNG, TIFF, they seem to work all of them. Um, and then here's my image. You click it and then you can left click and draw it in. So we went, we went over that. We went over the spline tool and we went over that sometimes you might have to delete these uh, associations. So Basically, what I'm looking for in this assignment, you're going to have a little extra time than just the one day. I'm looking for just a, a high quality project, something that's going to be a great gift. And imagine if you told someone that, you know, you, you design this. And again, make it your own. You might trace this a little bit, but then by all means, like, d make, it, make it be your, your own image, you know, make it be different. You know, you could put someone's uh, name in this. You could change it. Um, but I just want to cover the tracing because, you know, not everyone's an artist and can just freehand this stuff. I, for sure, am not one of those people. 
they can freehand like that. So, um, but yeah, definitely think about the lines. Connect or not connect? Well, this line I probably wouldn't connect it. That line I wouldn't connect it. So we're looking for a, a high quality uh, plasma cut project that we can give away, or it could be a um, a present. Maybe you know someone that loves like hummingbirds, you know, or dogs. So think about what you want to do. Again, I can give you a piece of metal that's 12 by 24 inches for free. And of course, you always could pay a couple bucks to do something bigger. Uh, our machine is limited to four feet by, you know, infinite. Four feet by eight feet, let's say. Um, and who knows, maybe you could design something that you even can sell. So that's it for today. Good luck making that, and I'll see you soon.